Welcome to Beyond the Stethoscope. I'm your host, Margie Zimmerman. This podcast is brought to you by Trinity Health Mid-Atlantic. Over this series, we will introduce you to a variety of topics such as our service lines, medical experts, and latest advances we are implementing across the greater Philadelphia and Delaware region. If you are not familiar with our healthcare system, this episode's for you. Let's go beyond the stethoscope at Trinity Health Mid-Atlantic. Today, I have the pleasure to introduce you to Jim Green, Vice President and Chief Development Officer at Trinity Health Mid-Atlantic for the Office of Philanthropy. Jim, thank you for helping us to bring in our new, welcome in our new podcast. Oh, man, this is such a great opportunity. Thanks so much for having me. Jim, today we want to dedicate our pilot episode to introduce all of our listeners to Trinity Health Mid-Atlantic. And I was wondering if you could take a moment to introduce us and your role within our system. Sure. And thanks so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Trinity Health Mid-Atlantic is a local collection of hospitals and healthcare facilities, doctor's office, ambulatory care throughout the greater Philadelphia region. So we have St. Francis Hospital down in Wilmington, Delaware. Then we have Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital in Philadelphia, Nazareth Hospital in Northeast Philadelphia, and St. Mary Medical Center up here in Bucks County. And our role in the Office of Philanthropy really is to reach out to each one of those local communities and try to encourage generosity and gratitude among the organizations and the people there to support their local community hospitals. Well, Jim, there's a lot that goes on in our health system that goes well beyond health care. In a future episode, we'll be talking about our community benefit initiatives and how they play a role in our overall health uh, of our patients and our community. But Jim, can you speak to our philanthropic efforts? Philanthropy is a big word. Can you tell us what philanthropy means? Margie, I think you've really hit the nail on the head there. It's a huge word, philanthropy. And I think it's really misinterpreted in today's society. I mean, philanthropy, when you think of philanthropy, when we think of philanthropy, we think of people like, like Bill Gates or, or Warren Buffett donating millions of dollars. But when you look at the word and you really find the meaning of that and definition of that word, it means love of mankind, love of mankind. And I love that definition. It's just a much more impactful and inclusive way of looking at the, what's you know, create it, what generosity is in our communities. You don't have to have Jeff Bezos kind of money in order to make a definitive impact in your community. And so I love that definition of philanthropy. Absolutely. How does philanthropy benefit the hospitals? Well, Margie, we're a collection of local nonprofit hospitals and healthcare systems. So we don't, we really don't have the funding that some of the the huge mega systems and names do in the healthcare space. We really rely on the generosity of our local communities to help support their local community hospitals. And surprisingly, this is really interesting, some of our best support comes from colleagues of the hospital. I mean, these are people who live and work in those local communities, in those hospitals, and they're choosing to give their time and their energy and their emotional support to their local hospital. That's wonderful, and it's so important, more important than ever today. And Jim, can you tell us a little bit about why you think people give to their community hospitals? Yeah, so I think that this is it's probably best answered, Margie, by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm a two-stroke survivor with AFib, and so I've spent many, many hours and days in intensive care units. I've spent many days in um, regular hospital beds, months in rehab facilities, learning how to walk again. So um, I think that people understand that it's absolutely critical that you have the best doctors, that they are uh, educated to the utmost and up to date on all those latest techniques that we have access to the best equipment right here in our backyard. Because it's not just for us either. 
I mean, if we were to choose to 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 have to go somewhere, you know, maybe we could travel a couple of hours to go to to get the best care. But, you know, what if something, God forbid, what if something happens in the middle of the night? You know, you're going to be taken to your local hospital and you're going to be transported there and you're going to want access to the best possible techniques and equipment and doctors possible. Not only that, but I think um, of how much time my wife and my kids spent by my bedside and to have them, you know, the ability to have access, you know, for my own health care, but then for them, for their emotional support as well. It's just critical. Yes. Yeah, so I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you're doing well. And you, of all people, then understand the importance of getting great health care and wanting to give back because you know that through your donations or you know, to give back, to share your story, you're helping future patients of the hospital. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's one of the most important things people can do. And it makes them feel good. I think it has a healing benefit and makes people feel good when they're able to do that, to give back. Yeah. And actually, when I was a patient, um, it was really interesting. I felt like I was a little bit taken out of my own health care, that the doctors and the support service, they were doing a wonderful job. They were taking care of me, but I felt like I didn't have a role. I was some victim that couldn't play a part. But the ability to give back, the ability to help them help me, it really made me feel, yeah, more, more in touch with my healing. Well, Jim, thank you so much for sharing your very personal story with us. We greatly appreciate it and for sharing with us how important philanthropy is to our hospitals and to, you know, continue to provide excellent and compassionate care. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thanks for this opportunity. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please stay tuned for future episodes of Beyond the Stethoscope.